welcome back to my closet. <laughs> so I have a very special um, <clears throat> unboxing video for you today. We are just a couple of days away from Christmas, so what better time than to do an unboxing uh, sort of Christmas themed doll. So um, without further ado, da -da -da -da. so a lot of you may have heard the rumor that our generation had released a couple of limited edition um, Nutcracker themed dolls. So I knew about Calera, but it wasn't until this morning and I was doing some like research that I actually realized there was also a Sugar Plum Fairy doll. And now I really want that doll. So I guess I got to find her <laughs> somewhere. So I purchased her for $60 on Mercari and, but she retailed for $25 Target at Target or online at Target.com. She's sold out now. You can still buy her on like Mercari, Target, that sort of thing, but it's going to be a little bit more expensive. So maybe I paid too much, but we'll see. Uh, but she just was really, really pretty to me. And I was really curious because American Girl has been just like really you know, releasing all of these limited edition, you know, dolls, like one after another. And so, and that's not really our generation's jam. So when they did release, you know, these two dolls, um, and maybe there's more, if there are more, please let me know. Um, I was really intrigued because I'm like, you know, that's a little bit different for them. I don't know if they're trying to copy uh, AG or if they're just like, you know what, let's see how it goes. The fact that they didn't upcharge them, like these were just your basic $25 dolls. Um, I, I, I think that was a really smart play. Good on you, Batat. Good on you, our generation, for not being greedy. Um, but I'm really curious what you get for the price because, you know, for American Girl... <clears throat> The Clara and Nutcracker Prince doll, I think they came out in 2019. They were limited edition. There were only like 5,000 made. Um, I I don't know. Were they 300 or 250 I can't exactly remember. They were expensive. Um, and I know that people talk about the costumes being like super high quality and all that. The uh, ballerina, sparkling ballerina dolls that came out this year in Costco, they retailed for $129 or $130. Um, now, again, the, the costuming, very high quality, um, the way they were stitched. So I'm curious, what kind of quality are we going to get dealing with a $25 limited edition doll? And just the fact that there is a limited edition doll in this price range just makes me happy. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. Okay, so she is in your standard Our Generation hot pink box. And um, I know I've been harsh on Our Generation's um, packaging before because I had mentioned that, you know, the box was louder than the dolls. And I was a little bit harsh about that, but I've had a lot more hands-on experience with Argen dolls since I did that review. And I think that that's intentional. I, I really believe that they are intentionally want the dolls to be less eye-catching than the packaging. Um, and I've come to respect it and um, I'll try to explain why but I'm no longer put off by it. Okay, Charlie has decided to join us as per usual. Okay, I when I saw her picture, I'm gonna be honest, I actually liked the way she looked better than the American Girl version of Clara and that is just my personal opinion but there's something very sweet about the Hope face mold um, that I think matches the 
character of Clara. As someone who is very familiar with the Nutcracker, um, I played in an orchestra for 16 years and um, 13 of them I perform the Nutcracker every December. And so I'm very familiar with the story and the ballet and the music. And I just think that this version really captures her sort of innocent, sweet, subtly beautiful um, character. I don't know, there's something very simple and yet beautiful about her. Okay, I'm not saying that the American Girl version was not that way, um, but for $25, again, the price point, it's just hard to argue with. So here she is in her gorgeous, Charlie, here she is in her gorgeous little tutu and her little nutcracker. The fact that they included this nutcracker is so sweet. Like, I just love that. I think he even works. But let's go ahead and take her, um, I'm going to remove the threads, and we are going to get her completely, um, I'm going to probably take her hair down too. So we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so here she is completely out of the package. She's in this really sweet little, like, pale blue lavender dress. Now, obviously, um, it is not as high quality as the AG outfits, and I think that's to be expected at the price point, but you know what? It is a really pretty little dress. I love how they made it both sort of a um, ballet tutu dancing dress, but also a nightgown. I think that's very um, authentic. You know, I could see a ballet dancer actually wearing a costume like this on stage, playing the character of Clara, and so I think they did a really good job with the outfit choice. Um, she has a, this sort of like very silky, beautiful chestnut brown hair. It's a little curly towards the bottom. And I snipped the two pigtails, but it still has this sort of twist half up style at the top, which I think I'm gonna leave in because it's really pretty. She has the feathered brows, um, the hope mold, which I am a huge fan of. Uh, and I think I'm not alone in that. There are a lot of people who are just eating up this new face mold. She has sort of silvery gray eyes and the beautiful full lips, of course. And then she also comes with the little um, plastic ballet flats that several of the other Argen dolls um, come with. Okay, of course, she also comes with this adorable little, like, nutcracker that actually, like, sort of works. Um, how cute is that? And what a great, like, little thing to add in. Um, they could have totally just not included that, but it really adds something special to the doll to have that little nutcracker. Um, again, I don't know. There's something simple and beautiful about this doll. And one thing that I just absolutely love about it is the fact that it's $25 or it was <laughs> um, retail. But I mean, if I, I, I think if I was a little girl and I saw the, um, sparkling ballerina dolls in Costco. I saw the Swarovski princesses online and I was begging my parents to get them for me for Christmas and maybe those were just out of reach financially. I think that if my parents had bought me this doll instead, I would be so happy. I think I, I actually, if I had wanted one of those AG dolls, this year and I got this instead, I would still be so thrilled. And that to me is a win on Batat's part because it is a fraction of the cost. Um, I mean, over a hundred dollars difference. So I think for what you're paying, you're getting a lot. This doll is gorgeous. Um, she comes in a beautiful outfit. She comes with a adorable little nutcracker. And I just, I love her. I think she's so sweet. I think she is beautiful. I love that they thought about the outfit and the ability to dance in it um, while also, you know, not being too risque. She is supposed to be a little girl after all. I really hope that 
I can purchase the Sugar Plum Fairy because after seeing pictures of her this morning, um, she also looks absolutely stunning. And I'm really curious with her outfit what the quality is like because it looks very similar to the sparkling ballerinas with the sort of embroidered bodice. Um, so I want to also get that one and do a review on her. Um, probably won't be till after Christmas though, but um, we'll see. I paid $60 for her and honestly, I don't feel like I got ripped off. Like I would pay $60 for this doll. I think she is that special. She is that beautiful. Now, my one complaint, which I will make mention of, and this is on all of the Art Generation dolls, is that they do stitch the clothing onto the dolls, um, I guess to prevent theft and to help make the presentation in the box better. But it does leave these really annoying holes in the clothes. Um, and there's just no way around that. That is in every single Art Generation doll that I have seen. There's got to be a better way, but um, again, it's just a little thing. It's not a big deal. So this is the limited edition Clara doll from Batat, our generation. What do you all think?